All right, today let's look at an example of Newton's identity for quadratics. All right, here is the question. So we know the sum of two numbers equal to 2 and the sum of the fifth power equal 82. So for x and y. Of course, when you have a two unknowns, two equations, the typical way is actually to substitute the variable, right? So for example, y in this case will equal to 2 minus x. And then plugging y into the second equation, you're going to get x to the fifth power plus 2 to the, you know, x to the fifth power equal 82. You can use algebra and then you know, try to solve this uh, equation about x. But then the power is fifth power, right? So maybe not, you know, a good way to go about it, right? So when you think about uh, um, this problem, one other way is actually uh, to use the factor of x fifths plus y to the fifths, all right? So for the odd power, like for example, x to the third plus y to the third, x to the fifth plus y to the fifth, we know that we can factor those, all right? So if you're not familiar with it, you can look up online, or we can have some lecture uh, next time to talk about it. But uh, for now, you, you can verify that this is equal to this. So you plug in, you know, this is 82 here, equal 2 times, the rest of it is going to be, you know, some uh, fourth power algebra here, right? Now how would you use x plus y equal 2 to reduce this to a lower power and then eventually solve it? And uh, We're not going to do it here but I leave this as an exercise. You can try to work out the algebra. But at the end of the day, you may realize by, you know, go th by going through this process, you probably know that uh, it is somehow related to the way we derived, uh, you know, uh, the Newton's identity for different powers, right, for the recurrence r relationship. So we're not going to continue with this method. We're going to use the Newton's identity as a tool to solve this problem. So let's rethink this problem, right? So in this method number two, you know, we try to find x and y. Let's assume that x and y are the roots of some quadratic equation that we don't know. For example, this would be the quadratic equations. So if x and y are quadratic equation like that, we know that x plus y would equal negative b, x times y would equal to c. In this case, we're given x plus y equal to 2. So this is equal to 2. So what we get is b must be negative 2, right? So recall last time we have this recurrence relationship of Sn. What is Sn? You know, S0 equal to S1. In this case, two rules are x and y, right? S2 would equal x squared plus y squared, so on and so forth. And we're given x5 equal 82, right? This is given to us, right? So recall the recurrence relationship is S n equal negative b, right? S n minus one minus c S n minus two. That what do we get, right? So in this case, b is negative two. So negative b becomes two S n minus one minus c S n minus two. All right. So we know this. S0 and S1 is given because this x plus y is given as 2. S0 is also 2. So we can calculate S2 by using the recurrence relationship, right? So here we equal 2 S1 minus C S0. S1 is 2, so it's 4 minus S0 is 2, so it's 2C. All right, so, and then in order to get S5, we need to figure out what is S3 first, right? So S3, let's uh, use a space here. So S3 would equal 2S2 minus C times S1, right? So 2S2 
as to we, we we just got it 4 minus 2c times 2 that would be 8 minus 4c right minus c times 1 s1 is what is 2 right so this is equal 8 minus 6c okay so what is s4 so s4 let's start from here equal 2s3 right minus c times s2 and s5 equal 2s4 minus c times s3 let's plug it in here now 2s3 s3 is here 2 would be 16 minus 12c right minus c times s2 which is 4 times 2c okay you're gonna have c squared now because c times this you're gonna have uh, so let's uh, expand it out to have c minus 4c right plus 2c squared so so equal 2c squared minus 16c plus 16 right so you times 2 of s4 this is s4 you times 2 that become 4c squared minus 32c plus 32 right minus c times s3 what is s3 you plug in which is 8 minus 6c right so let's rewrite it here let's copy it copy it down right and this would be minus 8c plus 6c square you combine the terms here right and then that would equal to 10c square minus 32 and minus 8 would be minus 40c plus 32 right that's s5 but we know that s5 equal to what equal h2 we're given that so what you get is an equation here is 10 c square minus 40 c plus 32 minus 82 that will be negative 50 equal to 0 and then notice that uh, you have common factor of 10 let's get rid of it it becomes c squared minus 4c minus 5 equal to 0. How do you solve this quadratic equation? You factor it. So what you get is a c so c minus 5 c plus 1 equal to 0 so c would equal to 5 or c equal to negative 1. What is a c? Earlier we said that uh, x, y are the roots of these quadratic equations here, right? And b we know is negative two. Right? B is negative two. So in other words, the equation we're 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 facing is x squared minus two x plus c. We have two choices: either either this one or right x squared minus two x minus one equal to zero. Now, how you would solve that? You complete the square. You can use quadratic formula here, but let's try complete the square here because this 2x is very easy to complete the square. So this would be x minus 1 square, right? This one you would have plus 1, but then you have plus 4. You, you, you need plus 4 in order to get plus 5, right? So equal to 0. Or in this case, right? So if that is the case, is x minus 1 square right and then you need to minus 1 and then minus not so minus 2 equal to 0 okay so this case s square equal negative 4 oh this is a complex number so in other words x minus 1 must equal to positive negative 2i for a complex number here and here you would have uh, plus negative square root of 2 so we have four solutions for x and what is y y x plus y equal to 2 right so let's write out the four equations here x and y okay so x either is 1 plus 2i right or 1 minus 2i or in this case you know 1 plus square root of 2 or 1 minus square root of 2. Four solutions. What is the corresponding y? y is 2, right? y 
equal two minus x, right? So in this case, two minus x that becomes one minus two a. For this one, it becomes one plus two a. This one becomes one minus square root of two. This is one plus square root of two. All right, great. So they're symmetrical. X, y are kind of uh, exchangeable here. So we solve the problem using the Newton's identity, and um, you know this is probably faster than the other method. You know, of course, I encourage you to try method number one mentioned earlier, right? So continue this uh, process. You can also derive the solutions, right? But this one is uh, is faster, is a cleaner method. All right. So next lecture we're going to talk about um, Newton's identity for uh, cubic polynomial or even for higher degrees. You know, Isaac Newton figured it out in you know, about 700 plus um, years ago, right? So, and, and he figured out in a more generic way. You know, without solving the rules for polynomial, he was able to um, identify a certain relationship um, using the coefficient of the polynomial, right? All right, so that turns out to be very useful um, method in, in, in a lot of algebra problems. All right. Thank you.